I read uh, monster comics and war comics when I was a child. I didn't read superhero comics. I liked, uh, I liked what Marvel did, was doing with monsters, like with uh, Werewolf by Night and Man Thing and Tomb of Dracula. But then I liked the DC war comics, Sergeant Rock and uh, Unknown Soldier and Enemy Ace. That's why I love the exhibition. It's, uh, As a kid, I guess, you know, I can't really... As a kid, I wasn't attracted to writers, or so artists. Like I liked uh, Joe Kubert was like the greatest, the greatest in the world. He was like the first artist that I really thought. Was. I'd written, I'd written Johnny Double, which was a, the work that we worked on prior to 100 Bullets for uh, Vertigo, and. So it was written and it was time to, to uh, choose the artist. And this was back in like 97, 98, it was a long time. And Axel Alonso, who was the, uh, the editor at the time, said, All right, I'm gonna uh, hang up your phone, I'm gonna fax you some artists, three artists to choose from. So I hung up the phone. It rings again and makes the, the fax noise. But you probably don't even know what the fax noise is. It's this weird thing. It, it, it's happened before your time. So the pages start coming out, and Eduardo's were the first. And I swear to God, I don't know who the other two artists were because I picked up the phone and said, "This is the guy." His, his style was so like European, and which is what I liked in the first place. And, uh, fresh to me. It's like, I don't even know who the other artist was. Gonna say. I think the first one that I submitted, though, it was it was much more episodic because we didn't we kept the whole big story of the Minuteman and the Trust out of it because we thought that that would get too complicated for people. And it's like let's just keep it really simple and clean. It's a revenge story. That's what it is. It's about like what would you do? So it's all this. It's a morality. So we snuck that stuff in later on when they were looking. You know, the return was, was not unexpected. I mean, it was something that we were going to we planned before we even quit you know, with the original story. But the original story was done. The 100 issues, it was done. There's some characters that we, you know, we still wanted to touch upon, Mono being one of them. Uh, we chose him first because Eduardo really wanted to do Lono again. Um, it was a different approach. 
than, than, than Future Santa. Future Santa, I'm figuring. It's going to get collected and that's where it's going to have its life. That's been a pretty interesting process. Yeah. Learning to play well with others. This I've tended, you know, I've always worked by myself. Jeff, Jeff Lemire and I were friends might be a strong word. We were we were acquaintances, but we admired each other's work and stuff. And it's been really great to get to know Dan Jurgens, um, who's been around a long time and I really had no uh, no contact with him. But it's been it's been really good. Uh, you know, I enjoy what everybody brings to the table. And Keith Keith's also he's like so old school. Um, but it's good. You know, it's a good experience. I'll never do it again. But it's a good experience. <laughs> it's exhausting. It is exhausting. But at the end of the day, it's like exhausting. Like when, when it's done, you look at it. And it's like, ah, that wasn't so bad, you know. I mean, it's dark right now, but it's got to be dark before it gets light. That's the cycle. <laughs> uh, well, Batman Beyond is the. That's my primary responsibility. Um, the reason for choosing him, I, I chose him because like I, we needed a time traveling character, and they came at me with the regular ones, you know, and I'm like, no, no, let's do something different. Let's take this other guy, and he's never appeared before, which I didn't know in the, in the 52. It's like, and plus we get to use, you know, it's, it's it's a character that people like. It'll bring people to the book. Um, so I'm primarily responsible for him. Uh, John Constantine is also somebody that. Those are really the only two I want to say right now. There's some other major characters. I think it's bad for people to work on things that they're fans of. Because they're too beholden to, the, to their source material. You know, and it's, it's, it, it makes you timid as a, as a, yeah. as a creator. So it's like, if I don't know it, I mean, I know ba I know the basic elements of it. I know the core of the character, so stick to the core. Everything will be, be okay. 